Hello, I'm Dr. Ross Walker and welcome to The Checkup. Hello, Dr. Ross Walker, welcome to The Checkup. I'm speaking at the moment about the immune system. I mentioned something last time we spoke, but I just wanted to explain to you what is the immune system? What does it actually do? Well, the immune system is almost like the army of the body or the security system of the body. Imagine the security guard going around with the torch, checking everything to make sure everything's in order. Well, that's exactly what the immune system does in many ways. And we have two major components. We've got what we call the innate immune system and the other one's the adaptive immune system. So the innate immune system are the security guards, the foot soldiers that are walking along checking that, that everything's going well. So when the body is invaded by a toxin or a microbe, such as a virus, a bacteria or a fungus or something like that, the, the, those foot soldiers then send signals to the, the more sophisticated immune system to tell them to start making specific products to get rid of whatever the problem is. Or if the, the innate system, if the, if the foot soldiers pick up damaged, injured, or aging cells, or even dying cells, then signals have to go to this, this adaptive immune system to get them to get rid of those, those damaged cells. And it's really, really important that these two systems work together. So the innate system is there to pick up initial problems that are going in the body and start to do something about it. And the, the, the function of the, the adaptive system is then to make specific chemicals and specific cells that will kill that specific problem. So I'll give you an example. When we get vaccinated for anything, so, so for example, we're being vaccinated against COVID, what happens is that the adaptive system gets messages from the innate system that there's a, a foreign toxin in the body, which is part of, part of the COVID virus that's been incorporated into a, into a vaccine. And then the adaptive system makes antibodies and cells that will mop that up. So, for example, many adults listening to this would have had measles as a child and, and the younger adults would have been vaccinated against measles. If I measured your measles antibodies now, we wouldn't find any. But as soon as you were exposed to measles, the T cells, which are part of the adaptive immune response, would then make specific, would, would then send specific signals to the B cells to make antibodies against measles. So within a, a day or two, your, your measles antibodies would be through the roof once you were exposed to measles. And this is how the whole system works beautifully together. And interestingly, you can have a defect in just one or two aspects of immunity, which might set you up for one disease as opposed to other diseases. So, so some people are very prone, say for example, in, my exam, in the example of my health, I'm very prone to influenza. So if I don't have my influenza vaccine, which I certainly had in, um, in April of this year, if I don't have the influ influenza vaccine every year, I come down like a ton of bricks with influenza. So it, it's really important that we all have healthy immune systems. And in another checkup soon, I'll tell you my tips for keeping your immune system very healthy. That's the checkup. We'll talk to you next week.